Good morning children. I hope that everyone understood the first lesson. And today we are going to start the second lesson, the natural realms of the earth. Let us start the video. Natural realms. What are realms? Realms are the areas which have common features. If any of the area on the surface of the earth is there with a common feature, then it is called as a realm. There are four natural realms on the earth's surface. They are lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. What is lithosphere? Litho means rock in Greek language. Sphere means earth. So the earth which is covered with rocks or the mountains or any of the things, it is called as lithosphere. Second one is hydrosphere. Hydro means water and sphere means Earth. Earth is covered with water and so it is called as hydrosphere. And the third one is atmosphere. Atom means different types of gaseous molecules and sphere means earth. Earth is surrounded by a lot of gases and so it is called atmosphere. Fourth one is biosphere. Bio means two upon the land and even in the water any of a creatures which can live upon the land and even in the water they all comes under biosphere let us now discuss regarding the lithosphere you can see the picture here children the top of the layer of the earth is lithosphere in the previous lesson we have discussed regarding the internal structure of the earth the first layer is crust second one mantle and the third one is core upon the crust all the mountains, oceans, continents, plateaus, plains, all those we can see. That part is only called as lithosphere. In the picture, you can clearly see that the mountains are located on the topmost layer of the earth. And it is completely covered with rocks and all. And so it is called as lithosphere. Lithosphere deals with the land where we live upon. The crust of the earth is uneven. The very low basins are now filled with oceans and then they are and there are the continents. These are called by geographers as the first order landforms. In the previous lesson, we discussed regarding the continental drift theory which is proposed by Alfred Wegener. In that we discussed how the continents and oceans were Formed. Before there is a only a supercontinent and a single ocean. But afterwards they were divided and formed into different types of continents and oceans. When they were formed they are the first formation on the earth surface. And so oceans and continents are called as first order landforms. The surface of the continents is not even. They have plain lowlands plateaus and high mountains. These landforms are called second order landforms. After the formation of the oceans and continents, upon the continents different types of other landforms were formed like plains, plateaus and mountains. After the formation these were formed second and so these landforms are called as second order landforms. Which are second order landforms children? Plains, plateaus and mountains. Which are the first order landforms? Oceans and continents. These are called first order landforms. Once again I give a quick, quick recapitulation regarding the topic. We have a four natural realms. They are lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. Here we discuss, started discussing regarding the lithosphere. Litho means rock. Sphere means earth which is covered with completely rocks is called as lithosphere. Here we discuss regarding the first order landforms which are formed first on the surface of the earth. Those are oceans and continents. Second order landforms are plains, plateaus and mountains because these were formed secondly and these are called as second order landforms. And here you have an assignment children. What are the four natural realms of the earth? What are the first and second order landforms? Answer these questions and send to me through WhatsApp. And meet you in next video children. 